Now at four, smoke rising from stunning devastation in Maui. A raging inferno kills dozens and turns to ashes the historic town of Lahaina. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And hi there. I'm Courtney Frail in today for Pedro Rivera. Hundreds of homes and businesses have been destroyed on the Hawaiian island by one of the deadliest fires in decades. President Biden has issued a major disaster declaration, so rebuilding and recovery can begin as soon as possible. KTLA's Chris Wolf joins us live from our news center with more on fast moving developments. Hi, Chris. Absolutely, Sam and Court. It's the deadliest wildfire in the United States in recent years, and the death toll, currently at 36, is expected to rise as public safety personnel scour through the wreckage on Maui. Much of the Hawaiian island of Maui has been reduced to a smoldering pile of ash and devastation. If anybody's still out here, it's time to go! The wildfire that has been racing through the area this week fueled by hurricane force winds and hot, dry conditions, caught many by surprise and has already claimed dozens of lives and hundreds of homes and businesses. This was a home. Imagine running into the ocean to escape the flames or pausing to watch everything burn around. Driving through, you couldn't see any structures of the buildings. It looked like a bomb went off. All the, the cars with full gas tanks that reached the fire, they were exploded. And, you know, we, what we saw before we even knew what was going on was, like you said, the smoke, but then 70 mile per hour winds, we just thought it was really windy. The reason it spread so fast is there are reports of gusts of up to 85 miles per hour. So, you know, that, that is so fast. And that's why uh, Maui County had such a hard time doing containment of the fire. And because the winds were so high, we couldn't provide the helicopters to do the water bucket support. The historic town of Lahaina, a tourist destination dating back to the 1700s on the island's west side, has been leveled. As emergency workers gain access to charred neighborhoods, they say search and rescue is still the priority. Officials emphasize that many people have not been able to find their loved ones. Hawaiian officials say 11,000 people flew out of Maui on Wednesday, with possibly another couple thousand leaving Thursday. The state convention center in Honolulu will serve as a shelter for thousands who have been displaced. I mean, just the fact that it was spreading so fast and we didn't really know what was going to happen. And Power is out across a wide area and cell service is down. Emergency managers are working to restore communications, distribute water, and bring in more law enforcement teams. The Coast Guard says it rescued 14 people who jumped into the Pacific Ocean to escape death. President Biden has declared a major disaster on Hawaii. The cause is still under investigation, and we have just learned that California is now sending 11 members of the state's Urban Search and Rescue Task Force to help locate any wildfire survivors in Maui. For now, reporting live in the News Center, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris, it's awful. Thank you so much, though. Meanwhile, thousands of tourists are being forced to leave Maui because of the devastating wildfires. Some of the travelers have started arriving at LAX. Major U.S. airlines are sending additional planes to the island to help with the evacuations as authorities call for a suspension of all non-essential travel to Maui. Passengers we spoke to this morning said they had to scramble to get off the island. But we thankfully made it onto a flight. It was like two or three hours delayed, so we just landed. We were supposed to land hours before, but you know, it was all pretty scary and hard, but you know, you get through it. You feel so bad for everybody that lost so much in Maui. We're just lucky we made it out, um, but yeah, we feel bad for the people over there. And we've learned United has canceled all flights to Maui so that the empty planes can be used to fly passengers back. American Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines and Southwest are all adding flights to Maui to help with evacuations out of that airport. Stay with KTLA 5 for continuing coverage all day on the devastating Maui wildfires. And if you're wondering about ways to help those who are impacted by the fires, we have links to organizations you can donate to at KTLA.com.